human activity is slowly disassembling nature's efforts to stay alive. An organized destructive effort fueled by greed and willful ignorance. Let the human destruction be over. If nature is allowed to do the healing, it would be a fundamental miracle, something humans have never seen before. Nature has shown its healing abilities many times in many locations. A shift in trust is needed, believing in nature's abilities, its incredible forces, finally considering nature in our activities, a cooperation of humans with nature. Ultimately, we are nature, we are animals, we are living beings as well. It is time. This is a model of us destroying the planet and nature is completely separate. Nature and humans in harmony, what a concept. It would definitely work. It is that simple. We have to start giving nature a chance to do its job. The energy in nature is absolutely overwhelming. We need to let it work. We need to let it get too busy. We need it to change the planet. We have to stop confining nature. One of the biggest mistakes we've made is uh, considering ourselves outside of nature. What I mean by that is we're not part of nature, we're above nature, we're better, we're smarter, we're more intelligent. And boy, do we have that wrong. We have that so wrong, it's not even uh, perceivable how we could think such a, a stupid thought. Nature has so much more energy than we do. Everything we do is we're trying to steal the information off of nature. We're trying to copy everything that nature does. But yet we have no respect for nature. It doesn't make any sense. Science is basing most of its work off figuring out how nature does certain things. So it's the time for us to start letting nature do its thing. I think the human interference has to be twofold. First, we have to stop destroying nature. And second, we have to give nature, if needed, a little push. What I mean by that is by providing a beginning for nature. Good soil, let nature do the rest. Fishing outside of the 200 mile zone is illegal, whatever it may be. We can help nature regenerate itself by removing ourselves from nature. So this attitude that we're something better than nature has to stop. What we need to do is say, okay, what does nature do really well? And, oh, by the way, how can I help you? How can I push you along? How can I not interfere with what you're trying to do? This idea of nature benefiting us financially and with resources, whatever it may be, is actually completely wrong. If we look after nature and allow it to do its thing, it'll pay us back 20-fold very easily. It'll be a huge change if this planet starts to uh, regenerate itself. Humans have never seen anything like that ever if uh, we allow it to do what it's supposed to do. The benefits are going to be astronomical, but we have to stay back, step back, and say, okay, who, who is in control? Who has the power? Who is smart enough to get this to work? Who can fix the planet? It's not us, it's nature. Nature has all these built-in mechanisms, all this harvestable energy, spreadable energy. It has everything built into it that humans could only wish they had. So we have to start making ourselves a hell of a lot smaller to help uh, this process of healing this planet. If we can be this small and we can put nature on a pedestal, things will change drastically. It has to be a movement to, to help nature help us. If we can see that, then uh, things will go really well for us. But if we consider only what nature can do for us, we're in a lot of trouble. We have a real interesting problem where we have nature going in this direction and humanity going in this direction. 
especially with our young people, our, our youth. This problem is uh, information driven. So what I mean by that is information, artificial information, man-made information is more interesting than nature itself. If we don't change that trend, we are going to have a hard time having the youth on our side to heal this planet. It's up to education, um, experienced uh, people in gardens, it's up to them to actually involve the next generation. Without that involvement, there's no understanding of having dirt under your fingernails. There's no understanding of how there's a forward movement in nature. So we have a problem that we we are losing that edge of what nature actually stands for, what it means, uh, how it works. We're losing that edge. And that edge, uh, that understanding, is what's going to allow us to heal this planet. And the energy, that energy to heal the planet, or to stop the destruction, or to push nature along, has to come from the next generation. But if they have no relationship, no understanding of what nature actually means, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, that separation is an excuse to continue the destruction. And what I mean by that is, if you don't understand what nature is capable of, if you don't understand what value nature has, then the destruction is excusable because there's no consequences for your mental anguish. You are considering harvesting all the lumber, harvesting uh, cobalt, whatever it may be, uh, not an issue to you because you don't understand the uh, impact and effects it has on the future of our planet.